How is it going today, Lola? Lola. Dwayne. My name is Jasmine. We're Dwayne and Jasmine. So we have the odd ones out, conspiracy theories, and, and crazy, crazy people. people. I am a big. We both are. We both are. We yeah. are both big conspiracy theorists. We love them. Mm -hmm. We love to theorize. We prepare for like any apocalypse or anything like that. Yeah. Like, we got like our own little, not a bunker bunker, but it's like, you know, we got it's, our own it's, little, it's little separate area that's we're... set for like if something was to happen. A few years down the line, maybe 10, 15 years down the line, that's when we might get to that level where we like, yeah. got a bunker even, bunker. even today, even today, we were notified that Maryland is going on shutdown. Due At to the, 5 p.m. today. To the, I'm gonna call it the core virus. Due to the C virus. Yeah, there you go. You the guys know virus. what virus we're talking about. So, and yeah, so. Everything's on lockdown. This but is crazy. We're good. We're good. Anyway. We're not stocked up crazy on total people like everybody else. Yeah. Like, I don't understand that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you guys have heard from us, please follow us on social media and the link as well. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's dive on. At my subway, you would spend your entire five to six hour work shift with only one other person. And you didn't <laughs> get to pick that peculiar partner you were spending your <laughs> precious period with. So that meant I was stuck with some <laughs> crazy characters. <laughs> one of those characters was really. Really into that new age snorting healing crystals kind of stuff. Ooh. And he would specifically talk to me about it because Aww. I was the only other person there mm -hmm. and all he did for fun was watching bread rise. Since I was contractually obligated to stay, <laughs> I would just listen to him ramble listen about how he theories. thought the universe worked. He told me about chakras and how easy it was to open your third eye through LSD. He told oh, me about no. scrying using black mirrors and that it's a common misconception that you can get stuck in the mirror, but that's just a myth. That doesn't actually happen. Which is a good thing <laughs> because getting stuck in a mirror is something I'm constantly worried about as an adult. <laughs> oh, and he told me that every illness is in your head and that hospitals can already cure anything, but they're not going to because if they cure you, they're going to lose a customer. So he's just going to stick to his essential oils and non-vaccinated immune system. Thank you very much. Listen. <laughs> You can believe whatever you want to believe, as long as it's not hurting yourself or others, okay? Mm -hmm. But denying modern medicine? Right. No. Yeah. No. No. You I would never deny medicine, but they do no. know how to cure. Since a lot there were still four so. hours of the workday left and I didn't want to argue with him, I would just respond with, okay. Uh huh. He didn't right. do crack or meth. Or any hey, I might go for those. That, of, that would Definitely alter his like perception that. of reality. That's one of my favorites. Even though he didn't trust hospitals or doctors, he really believed in the benefits of medical marijuana. If you're oh, ever wondering God. what kind of person is making <laughs> these yes, they did give this guy a license to touch your food. Oh, Whoa, God. dude. My sandwich tastes like colors. <laughs> I learned something about myself that day, and that is... I'm obsessed with crazy people. Even though I didn't believe a word he said, <laughs> I would still ask him questions so just to hear him talking. Say. Wait, so you're telling me that everything in Naruto is real? Something about talking to him and hearing his perspective <laughs> was fascinating. Was interesting. This human that I share a planet with exists. <laughs> what is a crazy person? A crazy person is not someone who has a weird hobby or owns a pet snake. A crazy mm -hmm. person is someone who, despite having an astronomical amount of evidence Al pointing to Look at him! Yeah! <laughs> I'm not a psychologist, and maybe I should have consulted one before making this video, but I think crazy people have an unhealthy amount of unchecked distrust and paranoia. I don't know where to even begin talking to crazy people. Their worldview is just so much different than mine. And a crazy person thinks that someone who has no reason to is lying. NASA's lying about the moon landing. Yes. I don't trust NASA. Hospitals are lying about medicine. I don't trust doctors. <laughs> the government's lying about... Everything. Well, a lot of things. They're lizard people. Okay, that one might be true. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't personally know any crazy people. Well, okay, some of my friends oh, are into boy. astrology, but they still get vaccinated, so, yeah. you know, you win some, you lose some. However, mm -hmm. on the internet, there's an overwhelming abundance of crazy people. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing crazy people don't go outside because they think the government will target them with directed energy oh, weapons. Oh my god. Crazy oh my things. god. They're turning the frog. <laughs> <laughs> Snuck that like meme in there. Of life behind computer screens. <laughs> I mean, one of my guilty pleasures is that while I'm working, I will listen to crazy people talk for hours. Mm -hmm. It's weirdly my version of ASMR. I've never government, listened government. to podcasts and audiobooks or <laughs> anything that's good for my brain. But there's something so fascinating about listening to a 50-year-old genuinely tell you about his alien abduction. And it only has 300 views? 
This man was contacted by aliens, people. Why isn't he on the cover of Time they Magazine? Don't him. YouTube will teach you everything you need to know about aliens. Did you know that aliens traveled millions of light years to build pyramids, stomp on our corn, and abduct a couple of crackpots? Mm -hmm. There's videos of people who will tell you in full confidence about <laughs> the gray and praying mantis aliens living among us. I mean, the videos barely have any views, but gray they exist. and praying mantis. Most of the views are from me. Okay, all of them. I don't understand how people think the moon landing was faked. There is so much evidence proving that the moon isn't even real. Wake up, Sheila! <laughs> I gotta be honest, I don't think flat earthers are real. I think they're all just a bunch of trolls trying to get people like me to oh, hate no. humanity. I'm no rocket scientist, but I know that our understanding of space and gravity is so beyond what shape the earth is. I'm amazed how much free information is available to people but they still choose not to believe it. So I mean, I'm sorry, I just I'll, can't I'll accept that flat earthers are real. I mean, I have nothing to back up this idea though. I guess it's just a crazy theory of mine. Wait, here's a lighthearted conspiracy for you. Okay. Some people think that the creators of the Sonic movie purposely made the design of Sonic bad in the first trailers as a marketing form. Yeah, Everyone was outraged area. about the bad designs and ended up talking about it, giving the movie free promotion. promotion. Meanwhile, the executives were planning to use the better designed Sonic all along. Mm -hmm. The evidence for this is... Well, I'm talking about the Sonic movie right now, so I'm contributing Kinda to the doing theory it. that this was all for publicity. Another piece of evidence is... Look at this. What is this? <laughs> There's no way that any executive or anyone with two eyeballs would okay this ever. And honestly, I, I might have believed this conspiracy theory oh my if gosh. this movie didn't exist. If it oh, wasn't for the yeah. cast, I saw that. I it would have thought weird. Knew what they were doing too. But mm. because it's current year <laughs> and these types of things can still get past scary. test screenings, I think sometimes Hollywood is just no good. I could be totally wrong though. If anyone watching worked on this movie and wants to be a whistleblower, let me know in the comments. Another rabbit hole I fell down was discovering a group of people called targeted individuals. Targeted huh? individuals are a group of girl. people that think the government is sending NSA agents to harass them. And this isn't just the American government. What? It turns out that every government in the world is harassing random citizens. What? They claim that they're being harassed because the government is trying to silence them for speaking the truth. When in huh? reality, they're not speaking anything remotely true. <laughs> a targeted individual will say things like, people keep following me. There's a white van that's been parked in front of my house for hours. The government's been using electromagnetic radiation to transmit sounds and thoughts into my head. And the whole time I'm watching these people, I'm thinking, yo, that sounds like schizophrenia, like, my dude. Yeah. I don't know your life. Maybe you just got out of a really bad cult and you do have stalkers following you. Oh okay, my yes, goodness. that happens. But it's not the government. One targeted individual I saw said that the government attacked them with a directed energy weapon and that they've been having migraines and coughing up blood. And no, I'm just flabbersmacked that someone the actually hospital. believes this. How do you tell them, yo, the government's not harassing you? You probably have something going on in your digestive system. You need to see a doctor and a psychiatrist. And it's easy to point and laugh and make fun of these people, but after hearing their stories, I just feel bad for them. They are going mm -hmm. through some major mental stuff, and I think they just need a friend to talk to. Most conspiracies <laughs> can be disproven with a little bit of research, so it's important to think critically and not immediately believe everything you hear online. Mm -hmm. And if there's not enough data to make a judgment, then it's okay to say, I don't know, or I need to look into this further before making a conclusion. That's all I was going to say. This information say I don't punishes know, everybody. So it's important to don't. do research, tests, and evaluations to form a concrete judgment before you hit that retweet button. There is mm -hmm. one conspiracy theory, I believe, and that is that Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill... Mm -hmm. Are there Man, any conspiracy theories now. that you believe in? Feel free to rethink there's your life. There's a lot. <laughs> okay, there's a lot. Okay, there's been... See, my thing is that... There's known unknowns. <laughs> now, okay, here, here goes uh, Boondocks fans. There's known unknowns and there's unknown unknowns. Knowns. But just because it's unknown doesn't mean that it's unknown right. knowns. Right. <laughs> like, see, so. see, the absence of evidence doesn't yes. mean there's a, a. The absence of evidence doesn't mean isn't the evidence of absence. So right. Just because you don't see it, don't mean that it does not exist. Okay. <laughs> so there's a couple of like there was a there were a couple conspiracies that came out to be real. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Project Paperclip. You know that. Yeah. One. We recently saw a, a show rated mature, very mature, mm -hmm. called Hunters, and they was like um, after the war. 
they, they had got Nazis, I think it was the Cold War, around that time, they brought, the, you know, Russia was getting, and they, you know, they was trying to get Nazis and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and America got some of those Nazis and used them, like, what is it? To be their allies, to, basically. To be, basically, use, use their minds, they say they were smart or whatever. Use their minds and, so that they're an yeah, ally, not an enemy. And change their names to have American yeah, to names. to make and, it seem like they were never Nazis yeah, and, and that's, everything like that's that. a real thing, it's called Project, Project Paperclip, so. Now, see and, the thing with the Flat Earthers, we watched it with Shane, and we've also watched it before then, yeah. before the little Shane video, but the Flat Earthers thing, I don't see them to be all that crazy. The only reason is because we know or we think we know that mm -hmm. the earth is a circle because of what we were taught in school, school and the pictures that we are shown. But even NASA themselves has said, you know, these are right. all pictures that were put together from the images that they yeah. have. So they, they don't have a full picture of what it looks like. And it's like, for me, it's like, I don't personally know until I go, go up, up there, there and see what is over there. I mean, and I mean, like, what's so hard know. about like going up there, having a live stream of the Earth twenty four seven? Yeah. What's what's so hard about? Is it is it really hard? Is it that hard? So I don't I don't really blame people for that because like oh people's people's rebuttal will be like oh so you're not gonna believe what you were taught in school? I'm like okay well my rebuttal to that is they taught you in school that Columbus discovered America. Now did he do that? No he uh, didn't. So yeah, so yeah, there's a lot of things that can be. I just heard something about around. the Dead Sea Scrolls. Those weren't, they said, so I, I like forgot Like the Dead I, Sea Scrolls in like some museum of the Bible was not even real. Right, like, like what, like, you, like, what? Like, the, so they're, like, so don't, like, don't think that everybody's so crazy. Like, they might be on to something, okay? Like, just, just, I will say be open. Be open, to don't be too perspectives. open. Don't be too open, though. Yeah, like, don't I don't think nobody's following, well, I don't know. Yeah. Some people might be following people specifically. I don't know. Cause, cause remember Dr. Sebi that uh, that yeah. made the well, he didn't make it, but he basically said the cure for AIDS and all that stuff and everything. And then all of a sudden, he turned up dead. And somebody else found Listen, the cure. Recently, Jeffrey. Yeah, somebody else found Ep the cure you know, for something. The Epstein dude. Recently. Oh, well, I don't want cures. No, I'm, I'm just saying. But even then, even then, with him, he just the camera went out. Yeah, the God, camera now, nobody can... knows what happened. The guards we didn't see nothing. Like, come on now. Like, so, like, mm, like, there's some, like, there's some, there's some weird trust stuff me, out that's, there. That's why me and Jasmine love some espionage like, hmm. movies like Captain America, so, uh, not Civil War, Winter Soldier. Mm -hmm. We love that movie. Yeah. We watch that over and over again because just the, the intricacies of, of that. And we just love, like, we, we the type, it's like, Jasmine love puzzles. And I'm starting exactly. to love puzzles too. <laughs> so we like to try to crack and figure things out. I like to look at things and openly. Out secrets, I'll be yeah. like, okay, you're not crazy. Let's let's look at this a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you know, you guys, look at it. Just like I want to talk about the with the virus that's recently come mm -hmm. came out. Mm -hmm. But I'm not trying to get to my So we'll okay. talk about that another day. <laughs> anyway, guys, comment below. Let's uh, what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, share some more. Deuces. Deuces.